Okay, so let's do a review on the dart sheet Evolution 1100. So I've had this tent for a while now. It's done me very well. I'm doing this review probably two or three years into owning this tent, so I must say it's one of the best tents I've ever owned. But I've moved up in the world, so I've got something pretty cool to show you guys next time we're out camping. Something that's going to change the channel, allow me to get out camping a lot more often. At least, that's what I hope. Let's set up this tent right now. Okay, so, looking at it right now, you've got these D-rings here. That's for tightening it once you get it back in the bag, so. Let's set it up. Just undo these. This is a good bag. You could easily leave that on top of your roof racks. I'm actually not certain whether it's waterproof, but I'd be very surprised if it's not. Heavy duty zips, they've never really, really never had any problems with them. So if I'm just going for a night, then traveling a bit more on a night, I'm just doing overnighters, want overnight stops. There's nothing to stop me from not putting back in the bag, and that makes pack up and set up even faster. I've actually got bedding inside. You could put even more bedding inside if you didn't have it in the bag. So I've done that before on longer trips. But yeah, for storage, you'd want to put it back in the bag each time, I think. Once you're inside, get two D-rings holding it together. The ones inside, the swags are actually quite heavy duty. A lot, a lot heavier than the ones outside. Once into these straps, throw them to the side because when you roll it out over the straps, it's it's set up for you to pack it up later really easily. Roll it out, and now you're ready for the fun part. Looking down here. You've got your air valve, so one way valve, screw it on first, and you get your second valve, so once you've pumped it up, you put that back on. Once you get to about here, you've got a bit of air inside, it just pops up like that. There you go, got your swag all set up. So you've got good midget screen inside, it's freestanding. So I keep my pegs inside here. Um, it's actually freestanding, so you don't even really need them. I only use them to peg out the two ends of the swag. And all that does is allow you to get ventilation through. We got nice thick mattress. Um, some people might find it hard on some grounds. It depends where you sleep. Try and make sure there's no rocks under you and you should be fine, I reckon. My only real con is that there's not enough room to sit up, but I feel like that's a swag thing. That's what you get with a swag. I really don't believe you can get a better swag than this. Like, the, how fast you can put it up, you won't really beat it. Short of a pop-up tent, but it's a lot better quality than a pop-up tent. No offense, Ben and Richard. Wind, it doesn't, you don't hear it. It's just dead quiet with the wind, especially with the two ends pegged out. Alright, oh, that's another thing. Like that speaks for itself, doesn't it? That's pretty good. Couldn't do that with any other tent. 
But yeah, so when it comes to packing it down, close all your zippers, leave one of the doors a little bit open, because I find that lets the air from inside the tent brush out. It could be a window, it can be anything. Just a little bit, so it's easier to roll up. So when it comes to packing up, undo this one just a little bit and undo this one completely. The reason I do that is because sometimes this one gets jammed to that one. Once you've got it off, it's a pain to do when you come to set back up again. And then yeah, it's out. Your straps. Your straps will be in the right spot to close it up properly, put it through the B ring. Be careful not to pinch the PVC floor. Now she's ready to go back into the car or into the, into the bag depending on your pick. I'm going to chuck it back in the bag, so you guys how that's done. I'm doing this all while filming and talking to you guys, but it really doesn't take long to do. Probably 30 seconds without the bag, maybe a minute with the bag. the bottom of this and just give it a kick pull like that make sure all these are in there obviously <laughs> have any problems with this swag probably the biggest one if you don't have much room in your car this thing is absolutely massive in its packed up form it takes up a ton of room it is very comfortable it is very quick to set up but that is the cost of it is that it's very hard to fit in a car so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and it helped you out leave a like subscribe helps out a lot